Hey, what's up, Lightbulb Joe here. Today we're going to discuss the 2020 Netflix original film, We Can Be Heroes. This is written, directed, produced, edited by Robert Rodriguez. He's the creator of Sharp Boy and Lava Girl back in 2005. I think in that last review, we said Chris Rodriguez. It is not Chris Rodriguez, it's Robert Rodriguez. And then his son, Racer Rodriguez, is one of the executive producers as well. Shark Boy and Lava Girl was based on a story of his. And I have my concerns about how it was filmed and whatever. But this was much better, much better than the first film, technically. It's been 15 years in regards to when this movie came out compared to the first movie. And we have an adult Shark Boy and Lava Girl with their young daughter, Guppy. Great character. This is not as heavily CGI'd as the first film was. There's a lot of like live action sets, like office sets, school room sets, stuff like that. So I didn't have that many concerns with this one compared to the other one. And this is a very, it's a, it's a fast, it's a cute kids film about becoming better than expected and working together as a team, stuff like that. So there's an alien invasion on Earth and all of the heroics, which is basically the Avengers, um, are taken by these aliens and put into this, you know, mothership kind of a thing. All of their kids, the superhero kids, who majority of them have powers, are hidden away into a bunker, basically. That way, just in case something happens to their parents, nothing happens to them. And then it turns out that they're trying to escape because one of the girls draws the future stuff and she can see, you know, what's going to happen. So then Pedro Pascal is in this and his daughter's character, his character's daughter, there we go, um, takes charge, leads by example, gets them all out, faces the aliens, turns out the girl was an alien, the president's an alien, the commander of the heroics is an alien, and then it's revealed a second twist within a twist. Very interesting how they're prepping for Earth's survival. That way the kids can pass on the responsibility because the old people shouldn't be ruling anymore. It's not their world anymore. It's the kids' world. Very interesting on a political commentary about what happens within this country and what happens outside of this country, how the old geriatrics are still running things and they have no idea how the world works anymore. It's very interesting. It's a very interesting commentary that I picked up on. So the first film is very kid kind of a thing, right? Not many adult jokes or stuff. This had a lot of adult stuff to it. And that's what I was talking about previously in the last review of Sharp Boy and Lava Girl. A lot of kids' films have that multi-generational commentary in regards to jokes that adults will get that kids will find funny but they're not going to understand the nuance to it stuff like that this had a lot of commentary in regards to what's happening with the world currently granted this came out four years ago and stuff is still happening um it's changing slowly but it's interesting having this next thing uh for this for this group because the first film had nothing to do with that kind of adult stuff adult commentary in a kid's film this had very much adult stuff at commentary in a kid's film now my question which i had at the end of the last review of shark boy and lava girl because taylor lautner is not back as shark boy in this taylor dooley is back as lava girl in this but shark boy's got a mask on he doesn't talk so like the director reached out to taylor i think or something like that and said listen like your character's not going to talk like I don't, you don't really need to be in it and, like, he didn't, he wasn't a part of it. But, like, my question was, and still is, where does this take place in regards to what universe? Is this two separate universes? Is it a direct sequel? Because Shark Boy and Lava Girl exist because they were Max's dreams, and he dreamed so much, he dreamed so big, that the dreams became reality. <clears throat> now that we have all of these characters, uh, all of these heroes, these heroics, are they just dreams from other kids who became real and then grew up to form the heroics and are now having kids? Are they all from Max? Are they all from different kids? Are they all just superheroes in general in this particular world of Earth that uh, has this superpower thing going on with certain individuals, much like the boys? Like... Are they created, much like the boys, scientifically? I'm confused. I'm confused how this comes into play because certain characters are humans, but then certain characters are superheroes. So if the characters that are superheroes 
are just superheroes in the world, then what's the point of Shark Boy and Lava Girl being superheroes brought into the real world? I don't get it. I don't get it. Are they all a dream? Is it all real life? Is it two different universes? I, I'm confused. If somebody has any insight to this, I am well aware this is a kid's film. I am well aware I am deep diving into something that has no purpose of being deep dived into. But you're given very specific plot points in the first film. Shark Boy and Lava Girl were dreams. Dreams that then became realities because Max dreamt so hard that they came real. That was the purpose of that film. Don't give up on the dreams. Dream hard, right? 15 years later, Shark Boy and Lava Girl are married with a kid, Guppy. <clears throat> are their co worker superheroes? Were they born with powers? Were they created with powers? Were they dreamed into reality? There are two, there are three different options of how this could have gone, and we didn't get any explanation to it. So it will be one of those things where, uh, of a what if scenario in regards to the three, the three things of that nature. I don't think I'll ever get the answer, but. I'd love to hear some theories. A, were they all dreamed? B, were they created scientifically? C, I was going to say three. C, C3. There we go. C3BO. <clears throat> three. Were they, what was my point? Were they dreamed? Were they created scientifically or were they born that way? Okay. Which one is it? How did these superheroes come to be to then create the heroics if Shark Boy and Lava Girl were, were dreams be, who became real life? Were they created scientifically? The other ones. Or were they born with powers? What is it? Dreamed, created, born. Dream, created, born. Dream, created, born. Dream, created, born. Let me know. Thank you. On to the next review. Ujumala.